pull these up real quick. Give me two minutes. See if I can get some names here. First names with them. Grant. Danny. Ronnie. Elliot is Camille. Goldenstein. Taylor. Razo, Stephanie, Terry, Leah, Caitlin, oh, okay. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to some softball action here from Akron. We've got Holyoke visiting Akron. This is the first game of the season for the Akron Lady Rams here on their new home court, or home field. Chelsea Arnold, the pitcher for Akron, starts us off with a ball to number 26. Kia Marquez. Second one is also inside for ball two from Arnold. This is the third meeting of the season between these two. Akron took the first meeting seven to three back on the 7th of September. The next day, Holyoke rebounded with a 15-0 win over Akron. That was in the Burlington tournament. Ball three, high and away to Marquez. She'll be followed by Chandler Girk and then Vicki Jeffers in this Holyoke lineup today. 3-0 pitch from Arnold. Got the top side of the strike zone. Glad you joined us here on this afternoon for baseball. Big time small town media production of baseball, or softball rather. And that's a ground ball to second. And the throw across the diamond is in time. Score four to three on the put out. That was Sachin across to Gilbert for the put out. Now Chandler Girk, the catcher, coming up for Holyoke. We're on coloradopreps.tv and chasta.tv. Thank you for joining in. First pitch to Girk right down the middle. Strike one. Another grounder. That's through the second baseman and out into the outfield. Trying to... It's the first time we've ran the camera here for softball. We'll get the hang of it here shortly. Oh, Girk reaches on the error by the second baseman. Now Jeffers, Vicki Jeffers, the shortstop, or rather the third baseman. Fouled straight back. Oh, one from Arnold. It's low. Picked out of the dirt by the catcher. Leaf. Leaf. No, oh, let's see. Today it's Perry. Or Perez. Sorry. I'm trying to read our lineup sheet here. Ball two outside. We'll get these uh, rosters all figured out here momentarily. Two 
2-1 from Arnold. Swung through and missed by Jeffers. Count goes to 2-2, two and two, one out. Girk on first. And Arnold, uh, Jeffers drives it to center. That's over the center fielder's head to the wall, or the fence here. That'll be a stand-up double for Jeffers. Actually, they ruled it an error. So second and third, one out. Bringing up the cleanup hitter, Alyssa Baker. That one caught the outside corner for a strike. A one from Arnold is sliced opposite field and foul. So Arnold ahead two or zero oh and two. And the swing and the miss. That will retire Baker. Bring up Allison Bohm, the second baseman today, coming in left-handed. Two on, two outs for Holyoke. Swing and a miss on the first delivery from Arnold. One from Arnold. Fouled off. Now to play. Arnold now one pitch away from getting out of this first inning jam without allowing a run. The 2 Went to the change of pace and got the swing and a miss for the strikeout. No runs across for Holyoke here in the top of the first. Today I'm covering a developing story at a Case IH dealership. For more, let's talk to Jim, a sales rep. Jim, what's all the commotion? Well, folks have heard about the big savings on next season's Case IH combines and tractors. Thanks, Jim. We'll continue to monitor this developing story. Head to your local Case IH dealer for the year's best prices and to ensure on-time delivery. For more, visit CaseIH.com. Or visit Farmer's Implement of Yuma, Colorado. Americans love numbers and iPhones. We all know the Seven Dwarves, Four Seasons, and Twelve Days of Christmas. Now, for a limited time, Vieira is featuring countless reasons to own an iPhone. With an iPhone, you can take great photos or take a crack at Angry Birds. Watch your favorite video or use it as a watch. Find an old school friend on Facebook or simply browse the web. But what you really ought to find is your nearest Vieira store, because for a limited time, you can have an iPhone for only $79.99. Before these great iPhone deals end, get into Viero. Restrictions apply. See store for details. Get your DVD copies of the adventure scene live online at BigTimeSmallTown.com. Hi, I'm Ben Blecka, owner, founder, and one of the talents of Big Time Small Town Media. Very glad you're enjoying the broadcast we're bringing to you live online. But don't forget, you can have this broadcast whenever and wherever you want with a purchase of the DVD from Big Time Small Town Media. Go to www.BigTimeSmallTown.com. There you can check out all the games that we've got from any past tournament. We've been doing this for just more than a year, and Big Time Small Town Media is proud to be more than sports. We're community. This Ready for the bottom half of the first. Alyssa Killen 
on, in the circle for Holyoke. She'll face Chelsea Arnold, Mikkel Watson, and Leah Phila, the top three in the Akron lineup today. Arnold takes first pitch high. Second pitch goes high and away. 2-0 count now for Arnold. Kellen catches the outside corner with that one. Two and one is the count. Arnold drives that one into the gap and short right center. She'll be on with the base hit. So Watson comes up with runner on first. No one out. And Julia shook, shook on as the courtesy runner for Arnold. And Watson squared up late trying to drop down the bunt. Fouled it off. Watson gets that bunt down, and Killen makes the throw over second baseman covering. Sacrifice successful as Shook moves to second. One out, bringing up Leah Phila, left fielder. She'll roll one to the second baseman. Boom. Throws her out. Runner advances. So now Shook at third. Two outs. That brings up the cleanup hitter, Anna Perez. That drop catches the outside corner for strike one. Perez grounds over to the third baseman. Throw up and across. Three outs. No damage done. Head to the top of the second. Scoreless here from Akron. This broadcast of high school sports is being brought to you courtesy of the Allen Bear Agency of Akron. In times of such economic uncertainty, let Allen Bear and his staff service stability when it comes to your insurance needs. With years of experience serving their community with products in auto, home, and life insurance, the Allen Bear Agency is also available for farm, crop, business, and health insurance as well. Give Allen and his team a call today at 970-345-2310 or stop in to 142 Adams in Akron to see how the Allen Bear Agency can serve you. Chapel of Yuma is your community connection for high quality foods, friendly service, and great prices. The employee owned store offers a convenient one stop shop where you can find everything you need from the everyday essentials to specialty items from around the world. Their friendly staff is there to help you find exactly what you're looking for and to answer any questions you might have on any of the products they carry. Chapel takes pride in their community and appreciate your business. Through competitive prices and specials throughout the store, a great rewards program, and a friendly, knowledgeable staff, Chapel is working hard each day to continue to earn your business.
With this horrible heat and lack of rain, it causes more worry than ever for farmers trying to make a living. And at Valley, we care about our farmers, and we want to make keeping the crops watered as painless and stress-free as possible. Valley has the new Field Commander technology that will help take the guesswork out of farming by letting you know right away with a text message if your pivot has stopped working. In today's busy world, Valley wants to be sure to stay on top of things with the most up-to-date technology. So call Quality Irrigation in Yuma today for all your pivot needs. Valley, the leader in precision irrigation. Ready to start the top of the second inning here from Akron on here on Big Time Small Town Media's production of softball for ColoradoPreps.tv and Chassa.tv. It's Chelsea Arnold on her second inning of work. She's facing her opposing number. Alyssa Killen. Killen fouls the first one off straight down. She'll be followed in the lineup by Caitlin Lennart and Leah Terry. The one from Arnold inside. Evens up the count. Up and away for ball two. High and outside again. That's ball three. Killing in the driver's seat. Three and one. And ball four as it gets away. Discussion about the runner rounding the base too much on that. The uh, home plate umpire watched it and said that's all right. Leonard now up. A few sprinkles starting to fall here in Akron. A little slap to, to the first baseline and. Keisha Gilbert will take that one. Three unassisted. Killen moves into scoring position with one out for Leah Terry, the shortstop. And we'll roll her back to the pitcher. And she throws wildly. That'll plate the first run. And... Terry in safely. So that's an error on the pitcher. Holyoke has scored a run without the benefit of a hit. That is the third Akron error of the contest already. Arnold's first pitch to Razo, Stephanie Razo, caught the corner. That one in the dirt, and Paris block it, smothered it, not allowing Terry to advance. One and one is the count. Swing and a miss. One and two. And that one caught Razo in the back. 
She'll take her base. Two on. One out for Holyoke. Taylor Goldenstein now. I actually know we back to the top of the order for Marquez. Marquez fouls the first one off, straight back. Marquez grounded out in the first. Swings and misses for strike two. and two on Marquez. High and away, ball one. And a liner up the middle. That should plate another run as the center fielder overruns it. And Terry comes in to score. Razo moves up on the air. It's a run, it's a hit and an error on the play. Holyoke in front, two to zero. Chandler Girk up. Runners on the corners, one out. Yes. Girk squares away and bunts it foul. Girk okay. bounced one through the legs of the second baseman her first time up. Takes ball one away. This is a doubleheader today. Second game scheduled to go around 6 o'clock. One and one on Girk. And Arnold gets the inside corner. It'll be a stolen base for Marquez as she moves into scoring position. Base hit, likely to drive in two more runs for Holyoke. And she'll punch one into the dirt, fielded by Arnold. Throws it across and safe. Razo comes in to score the third run. That's an infield hit for Girk. Second hit of the game for the Lady Dragons. Vicki Jeffers up for her second appearance. Runners on the corners, one out. And Girk will take second on ball one from Arnold. Wing and a miss by Jeffers. One and one. Another swing and a mess, miss by Jeffers. Makes it one and two. Two runners in scoring position.
That one away. Two and two. And that one slapped to right field. Caught there and hustled back in. That's Bailey Krenning with the the catch and strong throw back to the pitcher. Runners unable to move up. That's the second out of the inning. And now Alyssa Baker up. She'll pull this one down the foul line and caught by the third baseman. Megan Peeper with the third out. So three across in the top half of the inning. Akron coming up shortly. Insurance is something we all need in our lives, and it's nice to know that when you're in need of insurance, you can count on the expertise of Dave and Linda Frank at Main Street Insurance. 20 years experience will reassure you that the friendly folks at Main Street Insurance will help you find the crop, auto, home, farm, or life insurance that fits your needs. Give Main Street Insurance a call at 848-5382 or stop by 400 South Main in Yuma. Insurance with a personal touch. Who would have thought of that? Today I'm covering a developing story at a Case IH dealership. For more, let's talk to Jim, a sales rep. Jim, what's all the commotion? Well, folks have heard about the big savings on next season's Case IH combines and tractors. Thanks, Jim. We'll continue to monitor this developing story. Head to your local Case IH dealer for the year's best prices and to ensure on-time delivery. For more, visit CaseIH.com. Or visit Farmer's Implement of Yuma, Colorado. Uh, Bailey Krenning set to lead off the bottom half of the second inning here for the Akron Lady Rams. Trailing 3-0. Akron got a runner as far as third in the t first inning but couldn't capitalize. Krenning takes the first pitch down and in. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> we <laughs> we <laughs> Scoreboard showing the 11th inning. Home plate umpire Ron Metcalf asking if that was Roman numerals. Second pitch from Killen is driven to center. And brought in by Caitlin Linhart. So one away for Veronica Sachin, the second baseman for Akron. Inside for ball one. And that one pulled to third and will not have a play. That's an error on the third baseman of the Lady Dragons. Vicki Jeffers. That's the first error committed by Holyoke here. Keisha Gilbert in from the left side. First baseman. That one missed up for ball one.
That one's down and away, and Sachin will move up, take second base. She was moving on the pitch. Be credited with the stolen base. 2-0 count on Gilbert. Fouled back. Strike one. There's the 2 1 to pick it and or to Gilbert rather and she fouls it off. That evens the count at two and two. Was looking for the outside pitch, got it. Put a good swing on it. Just a little early though. Rather a little late. And caught looking for strike three. That's the second out in this bottom half of the second inning. And that'll bring up Megan Peeper, the third baseman. She caught that foul ball to end the top half of the first. High and away, ball one. That one line to the shortstop for the third out. We're through two, through two here from Akron High School. Holyoke leading three to zero. Americans love numbers and iPhones. We all know the seven dwarves, four seasons, and 12 days of Christmas. Now, for a limited time, Vieira was featuring countless reasons to own an iPhone. With an iPhone, you can take great photos or take a crack at Angry Birds. Watch your favorite video or use it as a watch. Find an old school friend on Facebook or simply browse the web. But what you really ought to find is your nearest Vieira store, because for a limited time, you can have an iPhone for only $79.99. Before these great iPhone deals end, get into Vieira. Restrictions. Glossing Construction is your one-stop shop with concrete work, drywall, flooring, roofing, and stucco. Everything including the final finishing nail handle projects throughout northeastern Colorado. You need to get in touch with Rick at Glossing Construction. Located at 801 East 4th Street in Akron. If Rick can't build it, no one can. Call 970-345-2087. From start to finish, trust Glossing Construction as your one-stop shop for construction. Call 970-345-2087. Tram Feedlot east of Yuma on Highway 34 is the number one choice in cattle feeding and performance needs. Tram Feedlot has many diverse feeding regimens that can fit into your cattle operation. Any feeding program can be tailored to suit your needs. Let Tram's extensive experience in ultrasounding and individualized tracking develop a tailored marketing strategy. For more information, call 848-3831 or visit tramfeedlot.net. I could have used a little more cowbell. First pitch of the third inning was outside for a ball. Second pitch from Arnold to Allison Bohm. It's high. It's ball two. Two zero from Arnold is. Fouled away down the third base line. How to play. Two and one. Line score so far for Holyoke. Three runs on two hits. One error. Akron no runs. One hit. And they've committed three errors. Line right back to the box. And Arnold fielding her position for out number one. That brings up the pitcher, Alyssa Killen. She 
She'll take ball one outside from Arnold. That one pulled down the third baseline. That's a base hit. She'll dig for two, and second baseman dropped the ball, but strong throw enough to hold Killen to a single. It's the third hit of the contest for Holyoke. Runner on first now with one out for the center fielder, Caitlin Leonard. Akron expecting the bunt. That pitch low in the dirt and throw through will go into the outfield. It's a stolen base and an error. An error. The fourth by the Lady Rams here. We're in the top of the third inning. It's been a bugaboo this year for Akron. And their doubleheader loss to Lyman last Saturday committed nine errors in each game. Proved real costly in the first as they lost at 18-17 with one out in the seventh. That one fouled off. One and one goes the count on Leonard. Runner on third, one out. High and away for ball two from Arnold. Two and one the count on the Holyoke center fielder. That one again fouled out of play. One hops the Holyoke bus behind us. Evening out the count at two and two. That one just misses high for a ball three. Full count now on Leonard. And the rise went a little too high. That's a walk. Puts runners on the corners for Leah Terry. The shortstop. One out. Arnold looking for ground ball. One of her infielders. Try to turn two. That one too high for ball one. That one low, for ball two. Terry with a slightly closed stance. Possibly to go the other way with it. And she's late on that one and then fouls it out of play to the concession stand. Two and one the count on the Holyoke shortstop. And that one will find the grass behind shortstop. That's a base hit. Killen comes in to score the fourth run of the contest for Holyoke. Runners on first and second for Stephanie Razzo. Razzo was reached on a hit by pitch her first time up.
That one from Arnold catches the inside corner for strike one. That one just a little high. Evening out the count at one. That one fouled off. Again, that one headed for the concession stand. That's one and two now. On Razo. Again, Arnold misses just high. 2-2 two -two the count. Been ahead of a lot of hitters. Had two strike counts on almost everyone. Having trouble finishing him off today. That one misses low. Full count now on the number nine hitter in the Holyoke lineup. Marquez waiting on deck. That one will be lined into right field. And it's a base hit for Razo and an RBI. As Leonard came around to score, it's the fifth run for Holyoke. Marquez up for the third time. And she'll go opposite way into the right center field gap. It's going to be a base hit and an error. Gets the run at home and... That'll be a six spot now on the board. Three runs across in this inning for Holyoke. Chandler Girk up. Two runners in scoring position still, just one out. That one in the dirt. Perez does a good job of blocking it. I went out high and outside. Ball two. Girk ahead in the count. Two and oh. That one fouled off out of play. Two and one. And inside, that's ball three on Girk. Now leading three and one. Jeffers waiting in the on-deck circle. Could come up with a bases loaded. And she will as Girk takes ball four high and away. So the base is loaded for the three number three hitter in the Holyoke lineup today. 
Still just one out, three runs across in the inning. Put up three runs on three hits and a couple of errors. Jaffers takes that one high for ball one. That one misses high and away for ball two. Arnold needing to find the strike zone in a hurry. She's in danger of walking in a run. Down 2-0 in the count. That one slapped into right field in front of the fielder. Two runs will come in. Oh, Critting with the strong throw into second, but two runs in on the base hit by Jeffers. Baker fouls off the first pitch. Strike one. Swing and a miss on one that looked to be pretty high. 0-2 now on Baker. Runners on first and second. One down. That one misses low and inside. Runners will move up, and then the throw goes into outfield. That will be the third error of the inning charged to the Lady Rams. Seven runs across here in the inning. And that one skied down the third baseline and caught by Peeper for the second out. Boom now checks in. Runner at second. Two outs. Leading 10 to 0 here in the top of the third. Swings through the first delivery from Arnold. Strike one. That one too far outside. Evening out the count, one and one. One one pitch is popped up in foul ground and Peeper squeezes it for the third out. Seven run or six runs as they change the scoreboard. Six runs on four hits and three errors. Holyoke leading nine to zero, heading to the bottom of the third. Apple of Yuma is your community connection for high quality foods, friendly service, and great prices. The employee owned store offers a convenient one stop shop where you can find everything you need from the everyday essentials to specialty items from around the world. Their friendly staff is there to help you find exactly what you're looking for and to answer any questions you might have on any of the products they carry. Chapo takes pride in their community and appreciate your business. Through competitive prices and specials throughout the store, a great rewards program, and a friendly, knowledgeable staff, Chapo is working hard each day to continue to earn your business. 
Yuma District Hospital offers a full range of services, including inpatient care, surgical care, obstetrics and delivery, 24-hour emergency room, and home health care. Yuma Clinic, staffed by family practice physicians and physician's assistants, hold appointments Monday through Friday and take walk-ins on Saturday mornings. The Center for Specialty Medicine, also located in the hospital, provides space for visiting specialists in a wide range of medicine. Yuma District Hospital and Clinics, the preferred provider of high-quality primary care services in Yuma and Washington County. Akron Auto is proud to be the best pre-owned automobile dealership in northeastern Colorado. Quickly expanding, Akron Auto has two locations, the original on Highway 34 in Akron and a second on Highway 34 in Fort Morgan. Akron Auto wishes to thank local patrons for making their business possible and asks visitors to stop in and see what may be on the lot for you. Tax time is the perfect time to use your rebate on a car, truck, or SUV upgrade. Akron Auto, better for your budget. Bottom of the third here from Akron. The Lady Rams trailing Holyoke 9 to nothing here on Big Time Small Town Media's production of softball for ColoradoPreps.tv and Chassa.tv. It'll be Delane Trahill leading off. Takes first one for a ball. And we'll flip it to the top of the order. Back to Arnold, I believe. And that one just past Killen. Fielded by Bohm and over to first in time to cut down Trey Hill. So that flips the lineup back to top of the order for Chelsea Arnold. That one low and in for ball one. Alyssa Killen been in control. And that'll be a base hit, ripped in to left field. The second hit of the afternoon for Akron. And we'll get the courtesy runner. Shook in for... Arnold. So Arnold has recorded both Akron hits today. Watson will come up. Shook on first. One out. Killen's first offering, Watson squared around, and that one gets through the catcher to the backstop. Shook moves up, was running on the pitch. Sure she'll be credited with a stolen base. Now Watson with the runner in scoring position. 1-0 count. And fouls that one straight back. 1-1 one one the count now on... The Akron shortstop. She'd like to get one into a gap here and get that first run on Akron's side of the scoreboard here. That one inside. Two and one. Rolls it to the shortstop, and she'll be thrown out by about a half step. That's the second out of the inning. 
Now Leah Phila, the left fielder. And we come through with a two out hit to get that run home. Foul straight back. <laughs> and seriously straight back. Strike one. Killen gets the sign. And rolls one up there to Girk. Girk able to keep it in front of her. Prevent Shook from advancing. One and one the count on Phila. That one right runs up too tall. Two and one on Phila. That one grounded into the hole just past the second baseman and Shook turns home to pick up the first run of the contest for Akron. RBI single for Phila. Third hit of the game for the Lady Rams. Gets them on the board. And now Anna Perez, the catcher up. Well, Phila got ahead of the count and got a pitch she could handle. Drove it the opposite way. Passed the second baseman for the RBI. And Perez will line softly to the shortstop in the hole for the third out. One run on two hits for the Lady Rams. And they leave one on. Heading to the bottom of the fourth, or top of the fourth. Holyoke in front. 9 to 1. In 1916, it is estimated that producing 100 bushels of corn took approximately 35 to 40 hours. Today, it is estimated that producing the same 100 bushels takes less than 3. A lot has changed in the last 95 years, but one thing has stayed the same. Farm credit is still the lender of choice for America's farmers and ranchers. We are passionate about agriculture and are dedicated to serving America in good times and bad. This is Jordan Wilkie in the Yuma Lending Office. Give us a call today to see how we can help you. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. For too long, we've spent our weekend searching for the right tool when we should have been using the right tool. It's time to go to Ace! We'll find Craftsman Tools the second we walk in. We can fix that wobbly table and still have time for televised sports. Get your weekend back! Ace is the place for Craftsman Tools. With two locations to better serve you in Ray and Yuma, visit Quality Farm and Ranch. Open 7 to 7 each Monday through Saturday and on Sunday from 9.30 till 5.30. Ace, the helpful place. Back with you from Akron. For our graphics, actually we'll get our graphics operator here in time for the first pitch. So Akron able to punch a run across there in their half of the third. I believe we had a rule question and umpire checking Arnold might be I don't know if it's jewelry issue or what
was that. Okay. Arnold had earrings covered in tape. And Holyoke staff brought it to the attention and umpire made Arnold take him out. So she'd fits the uniform code and ready to go here in the fourth. That one skied to right. Misplayed by the right fielder. And that one gets away inside. Well, it'll be at least one error on the play. I think they may just scored a four base error. That's the way we'll go right now. So that'll be the seventh error of the contest. Could tag Krenning for a throwing error as well, but I doubt that they will. That pitch from Arnold is low and in the dirt. This is the center fielder, Caitlin Linhart. So that was killing with the previous smack that hustling around the base for the 10th run for Holyoke. That one catches the corner. Two and one on Linhart. Linhart, I guess. Want to make sure you get it right. That one down and in. Three and one the count on Caitlin Linhart. Leah Terry on deck. Stephanie Razzo in the hole. That one fouled straight back into the fence. Count goes full. That one dribbled foul down the first baseline. So we stay full. And that one catches Linhart in the front knee. She'll take her base. Second base runner to reach by hit by pitch. That brings up Leah Terry, the shortstop. That one too high. And Terry swings through that high pitch and snap throw from Perez down to first. Got away, but Linhart went scrambling back in. Didn't have a chance to advance. One and one is the count. Arnold figured Terry tomahawked at one there. Just pitched before. Go right back. Terry able to lay off. Two and one. Now the 
on the Holy Oak shortstop. Swings and misses at the 2-1. Count evened up at 2-2. Two and two. And Arnold finishes her off, swinging through, strike three. That's the first out of the inning. And brings up Razo. Lynn Hart still at first. That one goes high and wide for ball one. That one misses upstairs, 2-0. Oh. And we're excited to be able to bring you this historic event as Again, this is the opening of the this new field here for Akron. Sets on what used to be the parking lot and part of the elementary school. Nice new complex going in. The t new T-ball field being built. Their maintenance building. New. Wonderful facilities for all sports here at Akron. That's ball four, and Razo will hustle down. Runners on first and second now for Kia Marquez. And Marquez playing first base today. She'll slap that one the opposite way, and Critting got a late jump. That one rolls past her. One run will come in, and have a play at the plate. And second run scores. We'll call that a single and an error. Marquez ends up on third. Two runs come across. Chandler Girk stepping in. Runner on third. One out. That pitch catches the outside corner. Strike one. <laughs> that one too high. One and one. The count to Girk. That one chopped down to the third, and the throw across in time. Run will come home. Girk out at first. RBI ground out. It's the fourth run of the inning for Holyoke. Base is clear now for Jeffers. And Jeffers playing third base, and in this opener. That one floats too high. Ball one. And that one runs up too high. Two and oh. Of 
take this opportunity to thank good folks at Akron. They, when they heard that we were coming to do this, they built a special platform for us to film from right behind home plate. Jeffers swings and misses, two and one. Nice sturdy setup. We're able to keep you right in the action. Less than 15 feet from home plate. The 2-1 is foul tipped and held on by Perez. 2-2. Two and two. And Arnold, one pitch away from getting out of this fourth. Fouled back. She'll have to go again on 2-2. Two and two. Also want to give a big thank you to the folks at Hilltop Garage in Sterling. They got us out of a pickle earlier this afternoon, allowed us to get here to broadcast today. And side corner, strike three, and that will do it. Four runs on one hit, three Akron errors, and we'll head to the bottom of the fourth. Holyoke in front, 13 to 1. These days, there's no free lunch, no free ride, not even any free time. Well, at Bank of Colorado, we're putting an end to all that. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection serve up a whole lot of free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, and more. Then when you add our personal free collection, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you want to bring back the free, apply today to open a new account. Visit bankofcolorado.com and long live free. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Since 1968, Interstate Irrigation on East Highway 34 has been providing our community with municipal and agricultural parts and service. Interstate Irrigation uses only high-quality parts, including chem valves, butterfly valves, water meters, all types and sizes of gaskets, water screening systems, and various sizes of professional-grade galvanized dog legs. Interstate Irrigation will go far and wide to help keep your water and sewer system functioning at the highest possible level. Whether you need parts, service, or simply an answer to a question, call 848-5809 and let Ward or Ray at Interstate Irrigation fill all your system needs. Bottom of the fourth here from Akron. Carrie Sherman, uh, big time small town media. Proud to present this softball game on ColoradoPreps.tv and Chassa.tv. That's the first pitch from Alyssa Killen was low and in to Bailey Krenning, the right fielder. Trying to get Akron started here in this fourth inning. That one, outside corner, one and one. Critting swings through, that one, one. One and two now. Reminder, we will have the nightcap of this doubleheader and scheduled for around 6 o'clock. Kellen held on to that one a little long and lost it. 2-2 two and two on the leadoff hitter. Should be followed up by Veronica Sachin and Keisha Gilbert. Anybody reaches, Megan Peeper. That one floats outside. Full count on Krenning. And ball four. Bailey draws, <laughs> Bailey Krenning draws the walk. And Veronica Sachin, second base, coming up. Rams trail 13 to one. And ground ball to third. Jeffers will go across the diamond for the out. 
Grinning moves up to second. Gilbert will come up. Runner in scoring position. Megan Peeper on deck. Fouled out of play. Note to any of our volleyball fans, our own Ben Blecka will be having Otis and Marino on here this afternoon. That also found on ColoradoPreps.tv and Chasta.tv. Gilbert watches that one go wide. Ball one. Pickett drives that one straight up the middle, past the pitcher. Printing chugging the, for home. The center fielder overran the ball, and Gilbert will stop at second. That's an RBI single, and she moves up on the error. Printing scores the second run of the game for Akron. Megan Peeper up. Again, Gilbert now the runner out there at second. Peeper with a little slap bunt. And hustles down the line, beats it. First and third for Akron. One out here in the bottom of the fourth. Delaney Trahill. Designated hitter up. And Peeper took off on the pitch and strong throw by Girk cuts her down. However, Gilbert came home. Gilbert scores the third run. Question if Gilbert touched home plate. Plate umpire says yes, she did. So base is empty now for Trey Hill. That one gets away. Ball two. Two and oh on Trey Hill. That one low and outside for ball three. Killen walked the leadoff hitter, Krenning, and she came around to score. And she's just walked her second hitter of the inning. Trey Hill, and that brings us back to the top of the order for Chelsea Arnold. Already two for two today. Watches the first one float in there for the strike. That one popped up, and it, it'll drop. Arnold reaches first. Infield hit for Arnold as she goes three for three. And I believe we're going to get the courtesy runner again. As Shook will come on.
Two on now for Watson. The Akron shortstop. Akron looking for a little more two out magic. That one goes wide. Ball one on Watson. First base coach, Shane Watson, her father, gave her the signals. That one, bottom end of the strike zone. Evens count at one. That one goes wide. Girk able to save the, uh, the advancement as both runners would have moved up if that one gets past her. Instead, 2-1 count. Runners on first and second. And... No pitch as the pitcher went before the hitter was set. That one popped up on the infield. On the second baseman and boom. Squeezes it for the third out. So four in the book. Hoyoke leading 13-3 here in Akron. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. Sitto has been a staple in eastern Colorado since 1971. Since 1977, Sitto has been your place to go for trusses, wall panels, and buildings. With state-of-the-art equipment allowing Sitto to stay on top of the truss industry, Sitto wants you to know that while the economy has affected everybody, it's allowed them to provide some different services while being able to maintain their spot as one of the top truss manufacturers in Colorado. Contact Sitto Building Components out of Otis at 800-925-3207. That's Sitto, proud to support Eastern Colorado. Top of the fifth from Akron. Holyoke in front by 10. Arnold back out there for the Lady Rams. And she faces Alyssa Baker. Grounds one to third. Megan Peeper throw across the diamond too tall and off the glove. Waiting to see. They'll call that an error. I think that's the tenth error by Akron. So Baker on first, Allison Boehm, the second baseman up. Swings through for strike one. That one floats outside. For ball one. Real nice crowd on hand here this afternoon. Grounds it first. Arnold playing it over to Gilbert for the out. Runner will move up on the ground out. And that'll bring up Killen. Kellen, who skied one to fairly deep right last time and came around 
on an error, four base error. That one catches the corner, gets past, and Baker moves up on the passed ball. That's the count should be zero and one. And that one driven to center field. It'll roll around the fence. Run comes home. That's going to be at least three. Ooh, strong throw by Watson on the relay. Made it close. RBI triple. Four killing. Between her performance in the circle and at the bat, a strong case to be player of the game. First pitch to Linhart rides a little high. One oh count, one oh pitch from Arnold. Catches the front corner. One and one. That one's too high. Two and one. Slapped a foul down the first baseline. Two and two now on Caitlin Linhart, the center fielder. Lapped up the middle and through for a base hit. Drives home another run. Second hit of the inning for Holyoke. And that will bring up Leah Terry, shortstop. Swings through the first pitch, 0-1. Oh that one floats inside, evening the count at one apiece. Arnold's 1-1, one, one. catches the outside corner, 1-2. and two. And swing and a miss, Terry goes down on strikes for the second out of the inning. Brings up the number nine hitter, Stephanie Razzo. Runner still on first. Two runs across in the inning for Holyoke. That one will get past Perez to the backstop. And Linhart advances to second. One ball to count to Razzo. That 
That one right in there for strike one. Fouled off at the plate. One and two now on Stephanie Razzo. And inside part of the plate. That'll be strike three. So... Two runs on two hits and one Akron error. Brings us to 15 to three, middle of the fifth here from Akron High School. Eisen Oil has been supporting our community for over 65 years and is the leading supplier in propane, Sinclair diesel and gas, Chevron oils, greases and lubricants, and a variety of tires and Delco batteries. Located on Highway 34 in Otis and Platner, Eisen Oil is your number one source for diesel, oil, gas, and propane needs. For all those road trip adventures through Northeast Colorado, they offer 24-hour pay-at-the-pump gas and diesel services. Eisen Oil, American product, American quality, affordable prices. This broadcast of high school sports is being brought to you courtesy of the Allen Bear Agency of Akron. In times of such economic uncertainty, let Allen Bear and his staff service stability when it comes to your insurance needs. With years of experience serving their community with products in auto, home, and life insurance, the Allen Bear Agency is also available for farm, crop, business, and health insurance as well. Give Allen and his team a call today at 970-345-2310 or stop in to 142 Adams in Akron to see See how the Allen Bear Agency can serve you. Ready for the last half of the fifth here. Holyoke up by a dozen. Lead off hitter will be Leah Phila, left fielder. Drove in the first run for Akron. Takes it for a strike on the outside corner. Drives the foul one, gets a big <laughs> chunk of it, and tracked down by the Holyoke left fielder. Baker got a good read on it. Brought it in, four out, number one. Anna Perez, the catcher for Akron. Comes up with one out, no one on. She'll dribble one back to the circle, and throw was a little wild. And Perez thought better of trying to advance. Reaches on. We'll wait to see if they're going to rule that a hit or an error. I believe it will go as an error. As a strong throw gets Perez. Not sure what the discussion was, but we're back with Bailey Crinning up. Perez on first. And another grounder. This one to third. Uh, one hopper to the bag by Jeffers will cut Perez down for the second out. So Crinning will replace Perez on the base paths. And with two outs, 
Veronica Sachin comes up. Back up the middle and caught by the pitcher for the third out. And I believe that does it for this with the mercy rule as Holyoke wins 15 to three. For Akron in the bottom of the fifth, no runs on, no hits and one Holyoke error. And shaky defense comes back to hurt the Rams as they commit 10 errors by our count. We'll see if they can clean it up a little bit in the second game of the doubleheader. So right now, that's 28 errors in their last three contests. We'll be back with you in about a half hour when we get ready for the nightcap of this double dip here from Akron. For now, Carrie Sherman from Big Time Small Town Media signing off. Hope to see you back with us for game two.